Today we're making limber of guayaba cheesecake. This is so good. You're gonna need one can of sweet and condensed milk. You're gonna put that in your blender. You're also gonna need one can of evaporated milk. You're also gonna put that in your blender. Guys, you guys have to try this, it's really good. Then it's four ounces of guava paste. And you're also going to go ahead and get four ounces of cream cheese. If you try this, let me know, okay? I love this one. And then here you're going to have half a cup of sugar. And I know what you guys are going to say. Oh my god, it's too much sugar. Remember, this is like an ice cream, okay? I went ahead and used one and one fourth teaspoons of vanilla. You guys know me and my vanilla. And here I used also the jam, the guava jam. I used one tablespoon. My husband loves guayaba, so. And then here, I use one cup of pound cake. Doesn't matter what pound cake you guys want. You guys can use Intamin's, uh, Sara Lee's, whichever one. Or you can even make um, pound cake if you want and use that one. You're gonna blend that together. And just like your stand mixer, you're gonna stop it and make sure you get all those bits of cream cheese and guayaba all together to make sure that they you know, get well combined with all your mixture, okay? And then they do sell the cups for um, Lean Bed. They're like five ounces. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any, so I had to buy these, which are the nine ounce ones at the Dollar Tree. I didn't fill them all the way to the top. And then I went ahead and I spread some more of the guava jam on top. You're gonna put these in the freezer for six hours or until frozen, better overnight, guys, okay? Or just do it early in the morning and they are delicious. Enjoy.